glory and honor. We worship you this morning. We bless your holy name. Thank you for the outpouring of your spirit. This morning we are just humbly giving you glory for your spirit. Thank you, our Father. Most high God, receive all the glory. Receive all the praises. Receive all the magnificence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We commit our spirit, our soul, our body into your hands. We commit our spirit, our soul, and our body into your hands. Come and lead us. Reveal the truth unto us. And then impact our life with your word this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Open your Bible into the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6 and 7. This morning we are going to see the manifestation and the outpouring of the Spirit of God. L'Esprit de l'Éternel te saisira, tu prophétiseras avec eux, et tu seras changé en un autre or. Lorsque ces, ces signes auront eu pour toi leur accomplissement, mm -hmm. fais ce que tu trouveras à faire, car Dieu est avec toi. Verset 10. Lorsqu'il arrivait à Gibéa, voici une troupe de prophètes vint à sa rencontre. L'Esprit de Dieu le saisit et il prophétisa au milieu d'eux. Alléluia. Amen. I'm reading Ma the New King James Version. The Bible said, Then the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you. The Spirit of God will come upon you. It is another thing to be filled with the Spirit of God. Feel. 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 Yeah. It's another thing to be filled with the Spirit of God. It is another thing that the Spirit will come upon you. Hallelujah. The Spirit within us is working to change our character. Change our nature. Who, who we are before we come to Jesus Christ. The Spirit does that work in within. But this morning, we are seeing in the reading here. This is in the Old Testament that the prophet Samuel start prophesying unto the king, the new king of Israel. He's telling him that the spirit of God will come upon him. The spirit of God will come upon you. The same way the spirit of God came upon Saul. The same way I'm prophesying unto you this morning that the spirit of God will come upon you. The spirit of God will come upon you. And then when the spirit of God come upon somebody, it changed the person into another person. It changed the person that demon can never overcome him if the person stay in the line of the grace of God. Then he said, then the spirit of God, the spirit of the law will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and to be turned into another man. You will turn into another man. And this morning, the Lord will turn you into another man. Because His Spirit will come upon you. When the Spirit comes upon you, it is for a people. Let's verse 7. And let it be when 
these signs come to you that you do as the occasion demand for God is with you. Verse 10 When they came there to the hill there was a group of prophets to meet him. Then the Spirit of God came upon him and he prophesied among them. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said the Spirit of God came upon him. When the Spirit came upon Saul, he was not prophet. He was not prophet. I told you yesterday, you don't need a prophet. But you need the spirit that lead the prophet. That's why when the spirit came upon Saul, he prophesied. He prophesied. This morning, in the supernatural realm, you who is listening to my voice, you who is watching me, I decree and I proclaim that the Spirit of God might come upon you that everything that cannot be changed into your life that might be changed that might be changed that might be changed because when the Spirit came upon Saul though he was not a prophet but he started prophesying that means there was change into his life the same way I decree upon your life this morning the spirit of God might come upon you may bring peace into your family may bring peace into your life every demon that is tormenting your life I decree that the spirit of God might come upon you this morning and change your situation change your life everybody know that you are nobody but when the spirit of God will come upon you this morning you will become somebody you will become a notable man someone that people will give honor to because the spirit has the capacity to do so let's continue the bible said that the spirit of God will come upon you when the spirit come upon you you will start prophesying when the spirit of God come upon you the very day you feel the presence of God in your spirit stop prophesying decree the word of God upon your life everything that you want to happen to you prophesy decree proclaim them in your life it's biblical because the man of God is telling he, uh, the, uh, the, the king when the spirit will come upon you everything that you see that you could do do them do them why because the law is with you hallelujah when the spirit come upon you it is a sign that your heaven is open your heaven is open at that time and then you can make a proclamation and then you can make a declaration in your life in your family in your business in your academic in your profession and it shall come to pass and because the spirit of God is upon you and then we'll go into the book of Joel chapter 2 Joel chapter 2 Joel Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 31 and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughter shall prophesy <laughs> your old men shall dream a dream your young men shall see vision and also on my maid servant and my maid servant and my maid servant i will pour out my spirit in those days 
and I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and pillar of smoke. The sun shall be turned into dark and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and the awesome day of our Lord. Joël 2, verset 28 à 31. Après cela, mm -hmm. je répandrai mon esprit sur toute chair. Oh, Mando Kobe. Vos fils et vos filles prophétiseront. Amen. Vos, vieira, vos vieillards auront des songes mm -hmm. et vos jeunes gens des visions. Mm. Même sur les serviteurs et sur les servantes. Mantara. Dans ce jour-là, mm. je répandrai mon esprit. Mm -hmm. Je ferai paraître des prodiges dans les cieux mm -hmm. et sur la terre. Yes, du sang, du feu et des colonnes de fumée. Mm -hmm. Le soleil se changera en ténèbres et la lune en sang. Alléluia. Avant l'arrivée du jour de l'éternel, de ce jour grand et terrible. Alléluia. Amen. This prophecy that the, uh, the prophet Joel was talking about here <inaudible> is the prophecy that came on the day of Pentecost. <inaudible> and then when Jesus Christ is about to leave, <inaudible> he breathed upon his disciples <inaudible> and then he tell them receive the Holy Spirit <inaudible> and then they receive the Holy Spirit <inaudible> But the promise of the power the Spirit might come upon them was not yet the time. The reason why Jesus Christ tell them to go to Jerusalem and tarry is because it, the Pentecost is coming and then they can never pour out the Spirit without the day of the spirits. So Pentecost is a 50 day after Easter. Pentecost and then the 50 days as today they were gathering together. Uh, and the, in the temple in one accord and then the spirit came upon them the spirit fall upon them the spirit fall upon them why the spirit fall upon them because they have to do they have many things to do so let's read in the book of uh, Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Verse 5 and to 7. Acts 1, verse 5 and 6. Car Jean a baptisé d'eau. Mais vous, dans peu de jours, vous serez baptisé du Saint-Esprit. Alors les apôtres réunis lui demandèrent, « Seigneur, est-ce en ce temps que tu rétabliras le royaume d'Israël? » Il leur répondit, « Ce n'est pas à vous de connaître les temps ou les moments que le Père a fixé de sa propre autorité. Hmm. » 8. « Mais vous recevrez une puissance, hmm. le Saint-Esprit survenant sur vous, mm -hmm. et vous serez mes témoins à Jérusalem, dans toute la Judée, dans la Samarie et jusqu'aux extrémités de la terre. Alléluia. Amen. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom, of, the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, Jesus Christ, before he left the apostles, he was telling them, in few days, in few days, you will be baptized. What he's telling them is this, you are looking carnal. You are looking carnal. And everybody is looking at me like you are the same like them. 
But in few days, you will be transformed into another man. You will be transformed into another man. The Lord will transform your spiritual life, your prayer life, your speaking in tongues. You will be changed. Why? Because the days are coming and the hard days. And then the strong men will stand firm. But you need the Spirit of God. You need the renewed of the Spirit of God. And then when the Spirit come upon you, what anybody can never do in your family, that's what the Lord will use you to do. What nobody, whatever the dimension that nobody has reached in your family before, that's the dimension that is waiting ahead for you. Maybe you are a, a businesswoman and then you have never planned to move forward in your business. But this morning, when the Spirit of God came upon you, the Spirit will change your direction. The Spirit will change your direction and then He will reveal you where to go and move forward in life. And then many people are in bondage. When the Spirit will come upon you this morning, the Spirit will lift you up. The Spirit will lift you up. And then all the bondage will be broke. That's what the Lord told me earlier this morning. He said, when my Spirit come upon somebody, it rests the person. It rests the person from nothing and then position him. This morning, the Spirit of God will come upon you and then the Spirit will position you into the will of God. The Spirit of God will come upon you. Maybe you are called into the ministry but you don't know the area of your ministration but this morning after this morning the spirit will say to you in your position and then you will not backslide hallelujah amen Amen. Amen. So he tell them the spirit will come upon you. You will be baptized. The baptism of the spirit came with the evidence. Came with signs. Came with one day. And what you can never do. That's what the spirit will lead you to do. And when the spirit come upon the apostles. Peter who can never talk. He is a timid guy. He can never talk publicly. But the day that the, he received the baptism of the spirit. His countenance changed. The spirit of timidity loose out of him. The spirit come out of him. And then he received a power. And then he start speaking in tongues. He start, he's, he's uttering a word that many people does not understand from the beginning. But suddenly, the spirit opened their air. And then many people, they start understanding what Peter starts saying. Hallelujah. Amen. When the spirit come upon you, the spirit transform us. The spirit will transform you. You can never receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the demon will oppress you. The case of your family will still work in your life. No, when you receive the baptism of the Spirit, there is a deliverance. There is a freedom. And then the Bible said, Where is the Spirit of God? There is a freedom. And 
Where you see there is a problem in your matrimony. Because the spirit was not yet come upon you. But this morning, if you can open your heart, the spirit will come upon you. There will be peace in your family. There will be restoration in your family. But you have to allow the spirit to come upon you first. This is the second person I'm seeing in the Bible. It's Peter. When the spirit came upon him, the spirit changed his countenance. The spirit changed his arena. The spirit changed his life around. His history has changed. Peter, who was a fisherman, he became a fisher of man. He became a saver of soul. He became an apostle. That's what the spirit does. When the spirit of God come, in, come upon you, it will change your level of understanding. Yeah. You can say I'm speaking in tongues and, and then be confounded. Oh that means something is wrong with your speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Spirit came upon Apostle Paul, he was a murderer. When he encountered Jesus, when he encountered Jesus, he uttered this word. Lord, what do you want me to do? And then later on, God sent the, the Lord sent Anania to lay his hand upon him and pray for him and then he was filled with the Holy Spirit and then the Spirit came upon him and then he was changed he who is killing people before he became a saver the third person was uh, Paul he was a son but the Lord changed his name and changed his nature and then he said I speak in tongue more than all of you Bible said oh, let's go into the Bible it's like I'm giving history to people First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 1 Corinthians 4, verse 18. 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 1 Corinthians First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Okay. Pour ce qui concerne les dons spirituels, mm -hmm. je ne veux pas, frère, que vous soyez dans l'ignorance. Mm. Vous savez que lorsque vous étiez païen, mm -hmm. vous vous laissiez entraîner vers les idoles mm -hmm. muettes. Ce, selon que vous étiez conduit. Mm. C'est pourquoi je vous déclare que personne, s'il parle par l'Esprit de Dieu, ne dit Jésus est anathème. Et que personne ne peut dire Jésus est le Seigneur si ce n'est pas le Saint-Esprit. Alléluia. Toi. Yeah. Now, we will come back. We will come back, back on it. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were gentle, carried away to these dumb idols. However, you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God can call get, can call Jesus Christ accursed, and no one can say that Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Spirit the, by the Holy Spirit. You see, okay. when the Holy Spirit come upon you, 
The first thing that you know that you belong to God. You can never curse Jesus. You can never blaspheme in the name of Jesus. So if you see somebody's claim to be Christian, but he's blaspheming the name of the Lord, knowing that he's not led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Spirit will lead you according to the will of God. The Apostle Paul said, we were led before that the, the, the word as concerning the word, we are led to do whatever the word we are to do. We are led by the idols of the world. As they want to lead us, they lead us. But now, that we are of God, no one, no one can say Jesus Christ is a, a cause if he is belong to God. If you belong to Jesus, you will know how to praise him. You will know how to glorify him. You will know how to honor him. That time you know that you carry the spirit of God. But if you can never praise Jesus Christ among of your colleagues, among your friends, your family members, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. So you need to check with him very well. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he's saying that no one can praise God if it is not the Spirit of God within him. Before you can praise God, before you can love somebody, before you can stay in peace, before you can be led by the Spirit of God, you need to be His own. Before He will lead you. So let's read verse 4 to 11. Okay. No, 1 Corinthians. Okay. 4. No, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 to 11. Okay. Il y a diversité de dons, mm -hmm. mais le même esprit. Mm. Diversité de ministères, mm -hmm. mais le même Seigneur. Mm. Diversité d'opérations, mm -hmm. même le même Dieu qui opère tout en tous. Mm -hmm. Or, à chacun, la manifestation de l'esprit est donnée mm -hmm. pour l'utilité commune. Yeah. En effet, à l'un est donné par l'esprit une parole de sagesse, mm -hmm. à un autre une parole de connaissance, mm -hmm. selon le même esprit, mm -hmm. à un autre la foi, mm -hmm. par le même esprit, mm -hmm. à un autre le don des guérisons, mm -hmm. par le même esprit, mm -hmm. à un autre le don d'opérer des miracles, mm -hmm. à un autre la prophétie, mm -hmm. à un autre le discernement des esprits, mm -hmm. à un autre la diversité de, des langues, mm -hmm. à un autre l'interprétation des langues. Mm -hmm. Un seul est même esprit opère toutes ces choses les distribuant à chacun en particulier comme il veut Alléluia Praise the Lord Alléluia I will continue the reading by explaining because it is we are getting close to prayer time we are getting close to prayer time and then I'm, I, I, the, the spirit is coming upon me and then I want it to be the same with you who is watching me so from verse 4 the Bible said there are diversity of gifts but the same spirit. The same way the spirit has a fruit. It has a gift too. That's why the spirit himself is a spirit of gifts. It's a gift that God gives to us. Hallelujah. Amen. 
to receive the Holy Spirit is a gift. To be baptized with the Holy Spirit is a gift. And then to be led by the Spirit is a choice. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So there are many gifts in the Spirit of God. The Spirit has a lot of gifts inside. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's see how the gift work. There are differences of administ ad of ministries, but the same law. It that's the the ministry that Jesus Christ gave to the body of the Christ. That's the ministry that Jesus Christ offered to the church. Whether you are apostle, prophet, evangelist, uh, doctor, those who teach the word. Whether you are a pastor, they are on the same stock. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's get into the Bible. Verse 6 says, And there are diversity of activity, but the same God who works all in all. You see? Okay. There are many activities. When you come into the church, there are many activities that will be going on. And then it's the, it's the same God. That is doing all this. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's continue. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. That everybody might have a benefit from it. That it might profit to everybody in the body of the Christ. When you have received a gift of singing, when you are singing, it's for everybody. When you receive the gift of prophecy, the prophecy is not the gift of prophets. Prophecy, you just say the law is, uh, is encouraging people. Encouraging people. That's a prophecy. But the ministry of prophets is an office. Hallelujah. Amen. That's different. For another one is giving the word of wisdom. And then this word of wisdom that the Bible is talking about. I will go on it briefly. For to one is giving the word of wisdom through the same spirit. To another the word of knowledge through the same spirit. This spirit of the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. Is the gift that give a revelation. They give revelation for the past. That's the word of knowledge. But the spirit of wisdom. concerns present and future. Hallelujah. Amen. But they said the same spirit that the prophet received, the same spirit that the apostle received, is the same spirit that do this work. Hallelujah. Amen. To another faith by the same spirit, to another gift of healing by the same spirit, to another the work of miracle, to another prophecy, to another the discernment of the spirit. To another different kind of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. Hallelujah. 
is the same spirit. I'm going to ask you a question this morning. Did, do you have the Holy Spirit in you? Do you receive the Holy Spirit? So if you have the Holy Spirit, if the Spirit of God is in you, this morning, we are going to pray. Maybe you have ever received the baptism of the Spirit. But if you desire it, you will receive it. Nobody lay hands on me to say, Receive the baptism of the Spirit of God. No. But the Lord offer it to me. It that mean he can, he can do it through me too. He can offer it to anybody that will to have it. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says Jesus Christ will baptize you with the fire and the, with the Spirit. Hallelujah. So this morning, we are going to pray. And then you will ask the Lord to be filled with His Spirit. The fill out of the Spirit. To fill out of the Spirit. Because when the Spirit came upon Paul, the Spirit came upon Peter, the Spirit came upon King Saul, it changed their direction. Only those who are filled with the Spirit are engaged to do something in the kingdom. And many people have received the, 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 the baptism of the Spirit. But they don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, I'm going to give you an assignment. When I'm praying this morning, this is what came to me. Go and evangelize everybody. Go and save souls. God will be happy at you. Very happy. That's what he called the church to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are called to save souls. How many is ready this morning to go and save souls? There are people that will receive the spirits. Uh, if you are ready to go and save souls, people are ashamed to direct people to their church. They are ashamed to tell people, come to the place I'm worshipping God. You, I don't think you have the spirit of God in you. I don't know if, if you still be ashamed. You don't want people to come to the place you are worshipping God. That means something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. If you say you have received the Holy Spirit today, one soul has ever been saved through you, something is wrong with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Mantala Gabro, Shaka Talaga, Zekebre, Kitalagadu, Mandigibra, Lakom de Gebre, Mashante, Kibra Gadagado, Shabalagabro, Makebran Tabari, Masaka, Lakabas. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Malakabro, Sheketekebre, Kibra Gadagado, Malanta Kabama, Sundi Gibrayakata, Leko, Sekebre, Kibra Gadagado, Malanta Kabama, Sundi Gibre, Lekebra Sabriata Kabagadagado. Jesus name. 
ela be amedo gbọ na be enya bana na yo wa yo gbọ be o nse nyi be yo da da ja no nse nyi be yo be susu na yo be susu e le so nya do nu me na yo wa yo ne no do ko be yo ma gbere okay what you need is this you can hear here the question is this Many people they say if it come on them to speak in tongues. But when they want to do it, they are afraid. The gift is a gift. If it's still in you, when will start praying? Iron shape iron. When we will start, yours will be revived. And then if it is a gift from God, express it, use it. It will continue. But if it is not from God, it will finish. It will stop. That's it will stop. So I'm praying this morning that the spirit of God the same way it come upon many people in the Bible and then their life has changed their countenance has changed whatever they can never do they start doing it the same spirit be released upon you this morning be released upon you this morning be released upon you this morning be released upon you Spirit of God, Spirit of God, Spirit of God, touch your people, touch your people, touch your people, touch your people, deliver them, deliver them, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them. The Bible says, You shall receive power. Father, let your power come upon somebody this morning. Let your power come upon somebody this morning. Let your power come upon somebody this morning. Receive the power of God upon your life. Receive the power of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus, receive the power to make a change. Receive the power to transform your family. As God, the Spirit came upon Gideon. And then he broke down the altar of Baal. I pray that the spirit of God should come upon you. That any spiritual altar in your family that is speaking against you, go and break them down. Break them down spiritually. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power in the name of Jesus. Mandala bo sakata, la kabra ta kabra sagada, ne konde kebre masundi kibra kata, la kebre shekete kebre shekete kebre kibra kata kata, la manto kobos kibra kata kata, liya makabra kata, le konde kibra masete le kibra kata. When I was praying this morning, the Lord told me some people their level of speaking of in tongues will change. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. The tongue that I received from the beginning, uh, it is I, not the same. Uh, the one I receive, 
at the beginning yes the, this morning I tried to speak it there is no more coming because the level has changed the level has changed and the Bible says he who is speaking in tongues is energizing himself hallelujah so you need the spirit of God to come upon you so that any time before you fall sick or weak spiritually thank you Jesus there are people they are sick spiritually but this morning you receive your healing you receive your healing you receive your deliverance you receive a change you will move from another, not from one dimension to another dimension miracles and signs will be happening you are going to pray father let your spirit come upon me the same spirit that came upon the apostles let it come upon me I'm feeling it like a hot fire on me on me the spirit is coming on me so pray ask God that the spirit might come upon you pray in the name of Jesus Mandala kato sege de gebre kila gadu zando gebre kitala le makundi ya makori le masente gebre kitala gadu randa gabalia katala gade le kende gebre shakata rando gobra shakata la gadu imala kote gebre kibra gada gada zante gebre ketele gibro kobra katala gada lima sata kabra katala gabre rante gebre shakata la gadu zanda gabazindi gibre kete rokonda gada gado zilia gada la kende gebre ketele gibro malandu gibra shakata rente gebre shakata rikandu gibra katala gado Malante malinta kabrasun di gibre, brando kobro kotolo gade ya magada gada gabre, ra rende gabre shekete le gibro katala gado, imalakato, manda balakato, zego brekete ke brekete ke brekete le gibro kabara bado, sabran kabara bala ya makabra katala gade, lakonde gibre kabra gada. Fire, fire, follow me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, follow me. Oh, where's the day? Oh, Pentecost. Fire, follow me. As the days of Pentecost. Fire, follow me. Oh, fire, fire, fire. Oh, look at the sun. Mantala bo sekete, rando kibre katala gado shata. Sekundi kibre kete kibre kita la gado. Mali kita gado zigi da gado kibre kete kibre. Maranta kabra shaka tala gado. Receive the spirit of God. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. There are young lady. I'm uh to be uh no no that. You want to marry, but you need a strength to fight some battle in your life. There are some situations that is hindering your life so that you can never get married. But this morning, this morning is a favorable time for you. If you can only open your heart, you receive the power and then you make a difference. You make a difference. Pray. 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 You need a spirit. You need it. You need it. I know you need it. Father, let your spirit touch somebody this morning. Mantala kabu, shekete kebre, kibra gada gado, malam te kebre, le kobra shata balari ama saka branta bada bado, li kobra nda bari ama sata bran, rabanta kabra katala gado, mas shekete kebre, le konde kebre, mas kibra katala gado, la makabanta bari ama saka branta bada bado, maronto kobro shekete kebre, holy spirit, holy spirit, holy spirit, holy spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, receive all the glory. For 
receive all the honor receive all the praises receive all the magnificence thank you jesus 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 for the outpouring of your spirit thank you jesus 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 the power of god is coming upon some young one young man somewhere the power of god is coming upon you the law is guiding your loins. The law is guiding your loins. You start seeing yourself in the spirit or in your dream. You will be fighting. And then every fight that you face, you will be a winner. The law is giving you a strength. The law is giving you a strength. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the power of God. You who is watching us on the line. And then in your matrimony, there is a confusion. There is a problem. This morning. The spirit of God is going to come on you. And then the wall of separation in between both of you will be break this morning. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Receive the spirit of God upon you. Someone, you feel pain on your chest. Sometimes you feel pain on your chest. Today is your healing day. Is your healing day. Everywhere you are right now, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for your finances. I'm praying for your finances. Everything that is destroying somebody's finances. I stop them in the name of Jesus Christ. I stop them in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy them. I pray that the same way the Spirit come upon apostles and then they make it. The area that God wants to use you in. I pray that the same spirit might come upon you. The same spirit might come upon you. And then the Lord will use you mightily. To make a big difference. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is a change of story. 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 Because only God has the final say in your life. What your enemy is saying, what they are telling you, it is not the verdict of God. But the law is changing your story right now. Your life is changing. Everything concerning you is changing. There's someone watching us. You are sick. I'm praying. That the spirit of God may come upon you. Right now. Wherever you are. The sickness. The sickness. The sickness. I don't know the type of sickness that you carry. But. This morning I command the sickness. Go out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the praises. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible said, 
I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. Father, let your spirit come upon everybody. The spirit is released already. Since the day of Pentecost, the spirit is released. So this morning, Receive your portion. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You are a blessed one of God. You are a blessed one of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.